Hello. So this one, if I'm differentiating a log, it goes to the bracket differentiating over the bracket. This one's the opposite. So I look at anything with a fraction and I say to myself, if I differentiate the bottom, is it the top? Or is it the same power of the top? So if I differentiate 3x plus 1, it would give me 3. So it's kind of looking the same. And then what I do is I say, what have I got? So that's a 2. So I say, what have I got over what I want times by log of whatever's on the bottom there? <laughs> Does that make sense? So I've got the 2. I don't want the 2, I want the 3. So that's a 2. But what I wanted, if I differentiated the bottom, was a 3. And then it's log of whatever's on the bottom, which is 3x plus 1. There. But that's in between, it's got limits on it, hasn't it? So I've got a limit between 0 and 1. So if I sub in the 1, I've got 2 thirds log of 3 lots of 1 plus 1. So that's like one bracket, which would be 2 thirds log 4. And then I've got 2 thirds log of 3 lots of nothing plus 1. So that's going to be in the bracket. Minus 2 thirds log of 0. Now from your log graph, I know it's not log of 1, not log of 0. Log of 1. From your log graph, log of 1 is 0. I was thinking of the answer. So that disappears, and I'm just left with 2 thirds log 4. There. there we go. Oh. So there's one there for you to do. So what do you want? I want minus 3. What have I got? 4. So I should have 4 over minus 3 log of whatever's on the bottom. If this is done right. What have I got over what I want? There you go, minus 4 thirds. Yeah, we can sub it in. Yeah. So I'll look at this next one. So you might say to yourself, this is a log. But it isn't, because if I differentiate the bottom, it's not the right power on the top. So this is not a log. As differentiate the bottom, it's not the same power. I'd expect to have a, a, an x term on the top to make it work. Right, so I need to rewrite this then as 5 lots of 2 minus x to the power minus 2. So the 5 is just a scaling number. So following that rule from the other page, I add 1 to the power, I divide by the new power, and I divide by inside of the bracket differentiating. So I add 1 to the power, divide by the new power, and then also divide by the bracket differentiating. Yeah, I really like this stuff. Tidy it all up, I'm going to stick in my little square bracket around it. The minus minus makes a plus, and the power minus 1 is 1 over. So all I've got now is 5 over 2 minus x, which would be minus 1 and 1. So the minus minus on the bottom is a plus, and the power minus 1 is 1 over. I put my values in, so I put 1 in it, and then put minus 1 in it, so it's upper minus lower. So I've got 5 over 1 is 5, minus 5 over 3. 5 is 15 over 3, so I've got 15 over 3 minus 5 over 3, I've got 10 over 3. And there's 1 here for you, so it should be a case of... Add 1 to the power, divide by the new power, divide by the inside the bracket differentiating with brackets around it there. There you go. And it's nice to write it with the constant at the front if you can. It just looks nicer. But that's that. Exactly the same. And some of my numbers in.
So same idea. So if you remember, it ends up being a log of the base, a times by the differentiated bracket when I'm differentiating. So half that all has to be reversed. So it's the original function. That's my original. So it's the three to the five x, and that's divided by log of the base, so log 3, and it's also divided by the bracket differentiated. So if you imagine there's a bracket around the 5x, I've got a 5 on the bottom there. <laughs> and nobody likes you in there. Nobody at all. Remember the plus C. So for this one, the original function, 5 to the 3x minus 2, divided by log of 5 times by the 3 on the bottom. <clears throat> there you go. So the original function, log of the base, log 5, with the bracket differentiated on the bottom. <coughs> we'll do loads of these. Loads and loads of differentiated, loads and loads of these things. <coughs> I've got to throw it in my throat. Right, last one then, and then we're, we're done for this first lesson. We'll just do some solid practice. Don't worry, just follow the bits and I'll do loads of other starters. You know what I can do with differentiation? Just chuck in a minute every so often. Right, so, <clears throat> so to use the following information to find it. So if you look at it, if I differentiate the bottom, it's the top, well, kind of. So if I integrate it, the dy by dx becomes a y, and I'm integrating 3 over x plus 2 dx. So what I've got is a 3, so I've got the 3, what I want is a 1 if I differentiate the bottom. So then it's got over 1, so it'll be 3 over 1, and then log of the bottom, going back to that other half of the plus C one here. Going back, if I go back a page or two, where's that log you want? There. What you've got over what you want got over one to log of the bottom. Yeah. And then if I sub in x is 1, y is log 3, I've got log 3 is 3 log 1 plus 2 plus c. So I've got 1 lot of log 3 is 3 lots of log 3 plus c. So if I take it over there, I've got 1 lot of them, minus 3 lot of them, I've got minus 2 log 3 plus c. So, oh no, that's equal to c, sorry. Hang on. <coughs> that's equal to c. So then my equation is y equals 3 log of x plus 2 minus 2 log 3. So I could have had the 2 log 3 as a log 9, couldn't I? If I wanted to. Yeah. What do you reckon of that? It's quite, you've just got a spot them, that's all. You've just got a spot them. And it's practice makes perfect with these. So we've done quite a few of them. <laughs> but don't worry, we'll go through them in class again. So I'll see you later.